Yo, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to get some banger after bangers boom bars. Damn bro, your mic fell off, son. <laughs> we good now? Yes, sir. All right, sweet. So I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get some sick bangers at night because everybody's seeing like, dude, how do you get these kind of shots? Well, today I'm going to give you all of my secrets so that afterwards you're going to get some bangers like this. If you want to do that, feel free to stick around. We are here in OKC, that is home, and we're going to go ahead and go downtown and get some clean shots. So here we are, downtown OKC. I love this spot. There's so much stuff that we can use to our advantage, but the first tip that you gotta know is that you need to be shooting raw. For those of you who don't know, shooting raw is pretty much where you can fix it all afterwards. Like the exposure settings, ISO, you can fix that in post. And the second thing is this, make sure that you have a lens that is, at least that's 2.8, because if you go into F4, you're already getting into that, like pushing the ISO way too hard. So make sure you have a lens that is at least 2.8. And also remember that gear does matter. If you don't agree with me, you can click up there there's a video I did all about that but so just remember that even if you follow all these tips and it doesn't come out maybe it's the camera and not you it's not me it's you I don't know what movie that's from but I'm sure it's somewhere out there but I'm not gonna look for it I can fix that anyway we're gonna go ahead and take some photos and just so you know right now I am shooting on an a7 III and I'm shooting with the Tamron 28 to 75 2.8 consistent so that is pretty much it so dude what do you say we're gonna get some shots up there it was his idea yeah, I'm feeling myself. So if it comes like out like trash, I'll snap the police. I'm gonna go ask them. You're gonna go ask the cop? Better be so officer. I go up there or what? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and head over here because like I don't want that cop over here to tell me anything. So we'll come back to the shot. <laughs> now I know why you made me sound like a homeboy. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Keep keyboard king. Dog, you and I both know I never refer to myself as Keyboard King. You should. So anyway, so guys, so we are right here at this spot. I come here often. You need to use the lighting that you have available, okay? So right here you can see we have like this purple backdrop uh, that is gonna be behind him. It's gonna look real sick. And also we have this little stoplight here that is giving some really nice soft light. It's really gonna help. So make sure that you use the lighting that is available. The biggest thing is this. Can you see in the dark? Can you see in the dark? Sometimes. Dog. Go with my example. Say no, please. No. All I right, that's what I thought, all right. Special. I know that you cannot see in the dark, so why are you gonna make your camera see in the dark? Get used to the fact that it is going to be underexposed, okay? The picture is going to be underexposed. We're gonna pick up the shadows in post. The exposure meter is not gonna be completely high because it's so dark out here, okay? So it may be a little underexposed, but this is where you have to use your eye. All right, do you ready to get some bangers? Yes, sir. Ugh. Sorry about the wind, guys. Anyway, but how do you think it went, bro? I think it went fire, bro. Okay, we're gonna get some more shots right now. I just wanna get a couple of portraits just out of the way, which by the way, this is just a fun fact. I always try and make like a little bit of a story with your pictures. I remember Alan Palander, he actually does this often. He just shows kind of like all this story with every single one of his pictures. It feels like you're kind of there. You can see what he's shooting at, details, things like that. So anyway, that's just a bonus tip. But going back to night photography, as you can see, walking around with this here tripod, baby. Do I look like Sora from Kingdom Hearts? I look like Cloud right now. Got that buster sword on. Oh, yes, what y'all know about Kingdom Hearts video games? Final Fantasy, Let's boys. Oh. Anyway, make sure to bring a tripod at times for this one reason. A lot of times your ISO may get a little bit too high and then things are going to look a little bit too grainy. So what you want to do is have a tripod and focus on your shutter speed, okay? If you can lower your shutter speed, you can let more light in. But if you have unstable hands, then you're going to get some pretty like shaky and then like streaky images. So that's why I say bring a tripod if you absolutely have to. And make sure you tell your subject or whatever it is that you're shooting not to move. So like a building? <laughs> Man. You have a tough time with, you have a tough time with the building. <laughs> and so anyway, so we're going to get some more shots. But um, we're going to go ahead and try some a little bit more... Uh, a little bit crazier stuff. You guys missed a really good moment. Like there was a lot of funny commentary, but like my mic was off. Your vlogs aren't funny because you forget to turn your camera on right. Um, I was thinking about getting a shot here, but it's just way too dark. Um, I thought that this light that's over here, I thought that it was gonna be able to give him enough of a key 
but it's just a little too dark. I don't like pushing my ISO anywhere any more past the 2000, 2500. Well, nice, good like stuff. Like I was saying, guys, I don't like keeping my ISO past 2000, 200, whatever. Dog, you or me? Thanks for holding my camera for me, buddy. Dog, I stood it on that one. I don't know, I don't appreciate that. It's ready for the picture. Doug, it's crazy you, how you got one of these across the city, boy. Bro, you've used that joke twice already. It's even funnier second time around, huh? Say. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video, you can go ahead and click up there and you'll see where that joke hit. Pretty hard, I might add. That's what I'm saying. All right, we're gonna take some photos here. Just a bonus tip, whenever you're going ahead and shooting like some of this like night stuff, the, one of the cool things that you can do is, you've seen probably a ton of people do this, I know that Hayden has like a video on it, but pretty much you can stick your phone right under your lens, it works better whenever it's zoomed all the way in, and you can get some really cool like reflection off of your phone, especially whenever you have stuff like this that's very symmetrical, it looks really good. So I'm gonna try some of that stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for these, here we go. By the way, random thing here. Um, I was going to do that whole reflection thing with my phone, but I realized that on top of this thing, um, it was getting reflections anyway, so I didn't even use that. Uh, that's why I decided to use that instead. So yeah, there's that. This is freaking me out. Like, look at this. Look, this just sets it off. Look at this. Like that whole thing is just like, anyway, I'm gonna take some. Let's go inside. Hey, let's go on an adventure. Yeah, some hood rats. Why do we sound so Mexican let's today? <laughs> you're not supposed to do but stuff in the street always looks good I do it all the time so anyway we got a lot of cool shots I really like the way that railroad one came out it came out really cool anybody can apply all of these tips ISO and then make sure that it's a fast land the F stop and everybody can do all that garbage but it's all about getting bangers that's where I want to help you out so here's the biggest thing Make sure that you shoot from different angles, okay? Everybody shoots at this level right here, okay? Don't do that. Get low. Get low, get low, get low when the whistle blows. So make sure to get low, uh, aim higher, get really low to the ground. That's one of the reasons why a lot of our photos, like specifically like Lamont, Hayden, Liam, like all of us, if you haven't noticed, a lot of times we get really low to the ground and we put the camera so down low and that just looks cool because nobody's taking pictures down there because nobody's on the floor, <laughs> you know what I mean? To get some bangers, you always gotta look out for lines, not just leading lines, but also lines. I say, once again, we go into the middle of the street, we put you in there, you're gonna look like a freaking, like like a superhero, like, like, like Spider-Man. So for example, if you look right here, just down the road right here, you have this like big yellow lines that can really just guide your eye to wherever you're going. So make sure that you have some like leading lines in your image. Make sure you have lines as well. And something that has symmetry as well. Those things are really going to get you all the bangers that you need as far as lines are concerned, real lines, leading lines, and symmetry. For some reason, those just look good. And then stick a uh, subject in there, got yourself a banger, baby. Banger after banger after banger. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> It's so windy out here for some reason. There's probably a tornado going on and we don't even know it. You need to experiment with different things. Not everything is gonna work, for example. Hey, bro. Pretty much I had this idea to make it look like he was standing on this, like this was the ground, but it just didn't work out. So anyway, like this video, subscribe, because that's what all the cool kids are doing. Follow me on Instagram, at Keyboard King, and you'll be able to know that I took a sick photo over there, a banger, because I'm dropping photos all the time. But anyway, I think that is it. Anything else to add? Bro, follow me on Instagram at Champagne. Downtown Oklahoma, we want to pull up. You, you shouldn't say that. Some people might have. Gang. I'm from South Texas, baby. <laughs> I don't know what I just threw.